it looks like it started like where all the cars and stuff are. Damn, that's gonna be difficult to put out. All right, guys, down here at the track, it's absolutely beautiful day. Chi-Chi's got no shirt on, so you know it's warm enough. <laughs> Lark is down, what are you doing? Playing with my car. What's wrong with it? Giving it a service, got some new party lights for it. More party lights? No, bigger ones, longer ones. Oh. So you can see the that smoke from that fire, guys. It's pretty decent fire. Um, so we got a crew that's rocked up here. I've seen a, a few R31s out there. As far as stuff on our cars today, we need to do a small adjustment to the front of Tiana's car because uh, someone forgot to do up one of the coilovers. <laughs> what about that fire, eh? Yeah, about that fire. <laughs> um, and I need to lift up. As, as it looks so freaking good, the 370, at the height it's at, but I am going to lift the front up a little bit just because I still want to drive it. Like I, It's still going to be plenty low. I need to bring up the front about an inch. I bring up the front about an inch, it's going to be way more drivable, and that means I'll be able to take it out for a drift today. Um, and that's ultimately what I'd love to do, is take this thing out for a drift, give it a little test, even with standard angle, just make sure the handbrake's working, the brakes, all that sort of stuff are all working. And uh, that'll give me an idea of where we can go from there, and um, then I'll start giving the guys at GK Tech a poke, and uh, get that lock kit happening ASAP. I'm super excited though, guys. It's, the little drive I had of it, if you saw in yesterday's vlog, like little first gear Bernie, click second, the thing just lights the tires up, 265s, just lights them up, like it's definitely going to be a pretty wicked car, so I'm excited man. Uh, wifey's car obviously went absolutely awesome last night, super wrapped on that car as well, just goes good that thing, you know, um, and yeah, probably you're going to try and get that windscreen out of that shell. I'll try and get the windscreen out. I'll grab the steering column as well for mine. Yeah. So a few more little bits for Larkin's car out of this shell we've got here. And then I'll probably get it off to scrap ASAP so I can get it off my damn trailer. What else? And we'll just see who comes out here today. It's going to be a good day, boys. Enjoy it with me. Those short shifters are so good. It's just so short. You never miss the second or third. Oh, it's good. Cheers, mate. Yeah. It was pretty much one of the best things I think I've done for her car because I was like at the point where it's like, do I put a new box in it? Because she kept grinding third every time. Yeah. And then we got this thing and it's like, dunk, third yeah, mine's, every time. Mine's like, the I don't, same. I've pretty much hasn't seen her miss a third gear change since put the cube shifter in. And you got one now, yeah? Yeah, I've just put one in my Sylvia as well. Yeah. And just driving it on the street, it just feels so much better. It's like it's just snappy straight into gear. Yeah. It feels good. Yeah, I've got a Chinese short shifter, like a shitty one in my 8.6, and I was like, God, I'm telling the boys at Cube, I'm like, please guys, make a shifter for the IS200 gearbox so I can have a good gear, gear feel in my 8.6, because that's the one thing that lets my 8.6 down, and that's, you know, this Cube shifter's completely transformed transformed wifey's car alongside of the new coilovers now the max speeding rods and you you're running max speeding rods as well yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i run them in mine as well i don't have a problem with them everybody doubted them but i was like yeah whatever 300 something bucks for a set of coilovers don't have a problem they feel yeah. good like look you can't you can't even argue with the price the price is ridiculous you know like on, obviously i love my shockworks but they're a higher end coil over and can be refined special spring rates etc but it's just a good budget off the shelf over. off the shelf option the max speeding rods are yours the damper adjuster ones as well yeah yeah, yeah sick. i got the same ones that are in this one yeah sick so, so there'll be a code uh down below guys if you want to get yourself some max speeding rods i believe we've got about eight percent off for you guys they're already insanely cheap so you know um and yeah cube shifters i'll add a link for them below as well grab yourself one all right so the height of the 370 is obviously an issue so i've stacked up my gk tech ramps now Got to, uh, yeah, need to double stack my ramps just to get a jack under this thing. I love it. I do love it at this height, but the lowest thing right now is my oil cooler line, so I need to do something about that. You beach bro! You got beaches? The beaches!
pretty cool slammed black cars, 231s and a 180. Nice little group. I believe this one's definitely an A. And then your Turbo SR 180SX. Found some mods. Some new mods. Mods. Cutting stuff. Cutting oh. stuff. Modified. Modified. Tucking lines up, out of the way. Yep, sweet. So, I was a little bit concerned about how low the uh, poses were and uh, made some small adjustments. We're mint now. Look, I apologize everybody, we had to raise it. Doesn't look that bad, okay? It doesn't look that bad. It actually still looks sick. It's still plenty low. All right, boys. Take this 370Z out for a little burn. See how it goes. One of the biggest things I definitely need to do to this thing is... Is it a reverse camera? Yeah, it does. <laughs> does it work? Yes, it does. <laughs> um, is get a better steering wheel. I don't like this. Factory steering wheel is a bit ugly. Like, doesn't feel as nice as it could. I don't think... Yeah, no, it only goes up and down. It doesn't come any closer to me. So... It died. Um, I don't know what's happened. How much fuel you got? Maybe none. <laughs> I'm gonna stop this other camera. Oh, you reckon I might not have fuel? I think you're out of fuel, bro. Bloody hell. I've got Jerry's in there. Yeah, I think that's... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of fuel. You're unreal. Unreal. Well, that's a good reason for fuel surge and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it definitely doesn't say it doesn't have any fuel. <laughs> it just goes and that's it. <laughs> wow. I'm out of fuel, guys. What a dickhead. Oh, my God. We've had our first breakdown of the 370C. Turns out you need fuel. Funny, that. We'll put some fuel in it and it'll probably go. Awesome. All right, we can uh, try that again, guys. I uh, have some fuel in it now. I'm assuming that's why it cut out. I can't think of any other. Ready, uh, Cheech? Yeah, he's already over there. Set, ready to go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
So oil temps went up to 120. So oil temp, 370Z, I know that's an issue. I need to keep that in mind. Definitely need to maybe do a water sprayer onto the oil cooler. I did do quite a few laps. All right, first test, went good. Grab, grab the ramps and put them under the back wheels. All right, so what are we doing, Larko? We've just done small height adjustment. Yeah, slight height adjustment. And then resetting the shock work shocks as well, yeah? Yeah, so we're lengthening the shock so we have a bit more travel. Yeah. Um, a bit more droop. Yeah. Yeah, so we've lengthened the shock, extended the shock down, gone a little bit higher because I'm literally just smashing the car into the ground at the moment. As much as I love it low, like it was actually undrivable. So unfortunately it's going to have to get raised up a little bit. Um, I've always wondered why 370Z boys don't have the car super low. This would be why. The bolts, the bolts in the chassis are literally worn through after what, 10 laps I did. So, uh, yeah, not, not yeah we've laps, had to raise it up a little bit. Unfortunately, we're not even exaggerating. It, it is genuinely wore through the bolts. I'll show you now, actually. So these here, were full-size bolts just before and now they are no longer full-size bolts so yeah we definitely need to raise it up unfortunately so raising it up and resetting shock lengths we wish me all right boys and girls we're going out for a sesh in the z again i've raised up the suspension so find out if it works or not bumpy right now it's um yeah it was dead set smashing my kidneys out is it hitting bumps no yeah on bumps and so shit it's backed off eight each side yeah we'll go backwards track it's fuel surging yeah, they're fine. known for it yeah, it's got over half a tank Alright guys, so 
we've uh, softened up the rear shocks. Let's see how it goes. Obviously, the alignment is absolute cactus, um, but I had it set up too stiff. So we'll uh, swing it back around now. Just being sure to keep an eye on my uh, oil temps. 370Z and oil temp don't go well together.
Pretty good. I can't wait to get some lock in it though. Like completely standard lock. So I'm like on the lock stops the whole time I'm driving it. Once we soften those shocks up, but she's squatted and hooked. Dude, I think it's fast. Yeah. 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 It feels fast. Looks good too. Um, it's just that I got don't have a whole lot of support in the stock seat and the steering is a little bit far. But more than anything, the lock and then the oil temperatures are up there at like 128 at the moment. You might get a hose onto it. But he's uh he's I don't want to take anything away. He's he's like winding it on pretty good. Damn, Russ, not bad. Not bad. Good size. Not bad at all. I think I might have converted him from. Yeah. Uh, Just about to say Larkins is on a mission and he just went and put it in the wall. Oh no. Literally as soon as I picked up the camera he just crashed. <laughs> oh no. Just that understeer and tapped the wall with his front wheel. Larkins! I was like, fuck he's sending so hard. I'm gonna get the camera out. As soon as I pointed the camera in that direction. Under, under, under. Understeer. No grip on the front. Yeah. Bugger. Not too bad though, is it? No, it's probably just a control arm. Yeah.
turned off. A bit more fuel, hey Luke? Yeah, apparently if you fill them right up, they'll stop surging. So I'm getting when I come around the big corner there. If I leave it in second, or even sometimes when I use third, but still just, it seems to run out of fuel right just at the end of the corner. So it's obviously fuel surging. I had someone tell me that they do it. You can get some like drop in tank thing and might have to do something about it. Some sort of surge tank. They get like a drop in surge thing, but they're like 800 bucks. So yeah, look. Yeah, somebody buys lots of merch and hats, maybe. <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, is that sale still on at the moment? I'm up, I'm up here, mate. Stop, stop trying to look at my booty. Um, the sale. Tiana's the one that always yells out, <laughs> sale. Actually, the vlog that I edited, the one that's coming out tonight, <laughs> you, at the end of it, you can hear me, I'm like, say thank you to everybody and say goodbye. And you hear Tiana, just before I cut off the video, she's like, tell me the sale! <laughs> Hey, hang on, what was that? <laughs> I said, Im imagine Luke reversed in a Mustang.
So like where I used to do it? I used to do it. No, but where I used to do it. cool that last session we had tonight we had a group of uh classic sort of would you say hot rods classic yeah, hot rods cars. muscle cars australian muscle cars they were just chilling out watching the drifting tonight showing a good bit of mutual appreciation and i love that personally 
I love all kinds of cars, um, you know, Euros, Jap, Aussie, American, whatever. I love all kinds of cars and the fact that a bunch of older, older blokes with, uh, you know, essentially hot rods, muscle cars came out and can appreciate and watch a bunch of drifting and really enjoy themselves makes me super stoked about the car scene in general. But uh, today was super rad, had a really good time, obviously Good to get the 350Z out for some testing. Wifey went out in her S13 again. Still haven't touched the 350Z. But you said 350 to 370. Three, what about the 350 though? We haven't touched the 350. Oh, that's what I'm saying, we haven't touched it. No, but you said- <laughs> Sorry, I went, out in the, I went out in the 370, but today was amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Grab yourself some merch, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Peace out, bye.